All right, what is going on, you guys? My name is Cole. If you don't know, now you know. And if you aren't subscribed, not sure what I'll do, but you don't want to know what I'll do. I appreciate you guys for clicking on this video. We're going to jump straight into it. Last week, I went to a place called Falling Prices. So if you don't know what Falling Prices is, I will try to break it down as fast as I can. It is a basically a liquidation store where they get a bunch of either return things or just... I think they get a lot of Amazon, Target, whatever return pallets, and then they sell it for very, very cheap. The place opens on Tuesday mornings, 10 a.m., Everything in the store is six dollars and then after that hence the name falling prices the prices fall So the next day Wednesdays everything's four dollars the next day Thursday everything's two dollars So on and so forth until Saturday everything in the store that is left is 25 cents after that They take Sunday to Monday They restock everything and they do it all again the following Tuesday The fun and exciting thing about it is you can find really good quality stuff and you're gonna see everything that we found today It is a way to find really cool things for a literal fraction of a price. So there are pros, there are cons, and there are tips, which I will get into at the end of the video. You guys will see everything, and then I will talk about all the pros, cons, and tips at the end. But real quick, before you guys see me searching all the bins and everything, I will explain the way that the app works and how you can kind of get in, because I searched for this. I searched YouTube to try to find the way that this falling prices place works. And uh, real quick, the one I went to is in Sacramento. We went to two locations in Sacramento. They are like 20 minutes from each other. They didn't have one close to where I was, Sacramento was about two hours or so away from where I'm at, so I had to travel a bit, but that's beside the point. I was trying to search how the hell this place works and what you do, and what I came across was this, and I will share it with you. So Falling Prices has an app. You can get into the store for free, but the first people that get in are the ones that buy a pass. So if you buy a pass in advance, you can get in a lot sooner, and the quicker you get in, the faster you can get to these items that are really, really good quality items that are really expensive that you're only going to pay six bucks for. So it's actually like Black Friday shit. Like people are running and you'll kind of see in the video, I sort of captured the chaos that ensued right when the doors opened. So I ended up buying a pass. It's really confusing, but you have to buy a membership. There's different tiers of membership that you can buy. But then once you buy the membership, I bought a membership for $10. It gives you like a month. It's $10 a month. But then once you buy the membership, you have to then buy your place in line still. So you have to buy a line pass, which was another $10. They go in tiers. So if you want to be one through 50 or one through 25 or whatever, it's like $12 and then 25 to 50 is like $10 and then so on and so forth. Um, and it's just first come first serve. So you get onto the app, you buy and it'll say like either that amount of passes is sold out or not. And so you kind of get left with what is left. I ended up being number 38. We were 38 and 39, which is pretty good, but we had to pay $20 for it. In my head, I was thinking, well, you know what? $20 in the grand scheme isn't that bad of a price if I'm going to be finding really good quality stuff for super cheap. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're going to try to find things not only that we need, but also uh, maybe see if we can sell some stuff. So with that being said, I will go deeper into it at the end of the video. So enjoy the chaos that ensues and uh, me searching through the bins and I will talk to you after. Shalom. All right. We just got on site to the falling places. Uh, prices. what is it? Prices. Falling prices. People are gonna be falling. Falling people. Fin about to be. The line's already forming. This is weird. The line forming, but we have a number. We're freaking VI freaking P. I'm gonna try to attempt to get some GoPro footage inside, but hopefully I don't get in trouble for filming. So let's go. 95? 36. I'm at 37. She's I'm 42, 37. so I'm right around. You're behind me. Perfect. Okay. 38, 39. Okay. 20. 40. 40. 39. 20. Uh, you have a number? Uh, it doesn't have any. It's fine. No, you good. 38. Is that for this location order? Okay. No. Thank you. Uh, no, you're old 36. That's different, right? Than just 36? Uh, is that Arden's location? Yeah, uh, yeah we, we have a number 36 already. 39? Yeah, thank you. Hmm. Oh my god, they're right. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, oh, this is. Oh, the carts, dude. Shit. I just can't do that. I just, I can't do that. Overwhelmed right now. No fucking way. Hey, try to go around that side and just do a loop. I'm not gonna go over there. You try to do it. No good. Big mood.
dental kit. We get a 30 pack of chips. Grab that pop guy. Grab that pop. Grab that. These actually can be worth a lot of money. Really? I don't know. I've seen them before. Um, should we get a 30 pack of fucking. Can you move the cart? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's like 25, 20 bucks or so. But see how some of them can be worth a lot? 90 yeah. bucks eBay. eBay, this guy's 40 bucks on eBay. You'd be surprised, these things actually sell. Mm. Should I do it? Sure. <laughs> breaking the bank here. I feel bad, I just feel like, oh, you didn't get, like I literally didn't get anything. Should I? Four and in two. Mm. Okay, so thirty-eight seventy-nine, please. <laughs> and how you guys doing today? Doing well. You just go in now, cause the uh, the app is already over with, so you okay. just walk in. Oh, great. Thanks. But we're here at the second location here in Sacramento. The first one was off Arden. This one here is over in Carmichael. But yeah, we're gonna go hit the second one and see if there's any more luck. Probably not, but second location. Look at this shower curtain. That's cute. It's yellow. These are good. These are backup curtains. This is literally like the color they are? I was looking for. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah you need those. Know. Look at these room darkening. Oh, they're frisbee. Uh, are these the same? Or just different? You can't tell. I like this color though. What's this? What is this? Oh. These ones. Oh, look. Light filtering curtain. Those. Not anymore. Oh, look at this truck. Remember, this was 40 bucks. Oh my god, that was the one of the ones. Hold this. Do you think it still works? Do you think it works? No. Should I get it? Yeah. Looks like it's used, but. I'm just nervous it doesn't work. I have to get it. This is a cute vase. Grab that little. We can use this hefty thing. Do we want this? I don't think so. This is good for the kitchen. All right. So there you have it found a lot of good things. The first place, as you saw, was kind of a bust. The second place is where we found the items that we more so enjoyed. We thought we would come across more or better quality things. We, we didn't really have any idea what we were getting ourselves into, so it was all just a big learning experience. We'll kind of break, break down everything we found as well as we'll go over the pros, cons, and tips. So here are all the items I kind of spread everything out. We, we'll go through each item. Yeah, just a kind of a quick overview showing sort of the things that I got. And I will also give you guys the retail amount of what these are worth and what we paid and basically the difference between them. So we will start with this black frame Retails for $30. This next one was actually a set of three, but we just found the one. These next tire chains go for $38 retail. This shower caddy that we bought goes for $16 retail. This shark remote control, got that for six bucks, retails for 50. This next blanket, we really couldn't find the exact make or model, but we found something similar from Target, which retailed for $31.99. These next Rattan little slip-ons, uh, obviously you see the tag there, $24.99. We got this white pillow for, for $19.99 from Target. Uh, the Iso Pure retails for $44.99, and the protein, the organic protein retails $29.99. Next, this curtain rod, this room darkening curtain rod. We were actually talking about getting one of these, so kind of worked out, but the curtain rod goes for $27.99 retail. This flower painting picture goes for $20 retail from Target. This Joshua Tree cool looking 
artwork goes for actually $36.49. We found it, which is a wild price. But yeah, this pack of succulents that I found is from, I think, Amazon. It's $29.99 for that pack. This hearth and hand light filtering curtain retails for $29.99. This mirror here is from Target, retails for $24.99. This threshold drying rack from Target is $20 retail. This brown blanket retails for $23 from Target. This little vase thing is actually missing the top part of it, but this storage canister goes for $15. These sweatpants from Target go for $20. These linen shorts from Target are $19.99. These Levi shorts are from Target. They go for $36.99. They were had an on-sale tag for $11.09. This candle from Target goes for $17. And then this blanket from Target is a Casa Luna, and apparently it goes for $79. It's a pretty expensive blanket. All right, so that was everything we found. When we total up, the money that we spent from falling prices, also with some food and gas mixed in there, we spent $161.63. And then when you add up everything that I just told you guys about of what all that goes for retail, if we were to just buy that as is at the store, it would cost us $739.37. That's insane. It doesn't even seem like that much that we bought. It doesn't even seem like $739 worth of stuff, uh, but it was. It ended up being obviously worth it for us to go. We clearly saved a lot of money. Let me say this. We weren't really in the market for all of this stuff. We went in with the mindset that we wanted to find things to resell, which that didn't happen. So let me go over the pros, cons, and tips now. For the pros, obviously you're finding things at a fraction of the price, which is really cool. I mean, the idea of going and digging through the bins is really fun as well. I mean, I enjoy stuff like that. You never know what you're gonna find, so it's kind of an experience. And it all just depends on what you're going for. If you more so seek the thrill of it, like there was a guy standing behind me and said that the reason that he was going was uh, because he just loved the idea of you never know what you're gonna find, and it was kind of like a uh, an addiction for him. And then you get people that really genuinely do need things for their house and they are furnishing and they're just on a budget. And then you have the people that want to try to resell things. So I would say this is definitely, definitely worth it if you are wanting to resell things. But if you want to resell things, you're going to want to get the prime, the prime membership and also make sure you get that front of the line pass. And you kind of got to be a little bit of a dog. If you saw in the video, people literally were I mean, it was Black Frickin' Friday. People were sprinting to the carts, and from there, they're taking the carts and they're running. It's like they knew where everything was. So you'll start to get better as you go. I think if we went again, we would have a little bit more of uh, an idea of what to do, like maybe have a little bit more of a game plan. But the first time was just like a complete culture shock. I had no idea what to do. And you saw in the video, I was very overwhelmed because I'm just not going to, I'm not going to push my way through. I can't do it. Uh, I'm not that savage. So uh, if you don't really care to run people over, by all means, try to get first in line and get the fuck over there because you can find really, really cool stuff. But for me personally, I don't know. I wasn't going to run over a little old lady uh, to fucking make sure I get that blanket or that pillow or whatever the case may be. So a con would be if, if you don't live close, it might not be worth it. We had to travel two hours out of the way and take basically our whole day to go to this. So maybe if we lived close, it's something that I would do more often, but if you don't live close, it might not be worth it. And then just the cons, like people are just, people are just uh, a little out of control. Like it was a little strange for me. I didn't like the dynamic of people just kind of pushing around and like literally people were running their cart into mine and there was just no sense of respect, I guess. So it was a little funky for me. It was definitely an experience. And then now let's just get into the tips portion of it because I think that it could be really beneficial if you have sort of a plan to go into it and what to look for and basically just how to do it. And the first thing I would say to do is follow them on Instagram because they do post previews of what they will have there like that coming week they'll post and so you can kind of see maybe where they're at and then also just kind of having a little bit of an understanding of what you're looking for the first time might be a little rough because you don't really have a layout of the place so until you start to know the store you might have to go a few times to like know where they stage things but also every time every week is so different so you really can't be too sure but follow them on instagram the next tip i'd say is to go with another person so have a team of two or three and here's what we found could could maybe work 
work if you have another person. So you'll want one person to go straight to getting the cart because there are maybe 50 carts and if you don't get a cart, you might be screwed because you'll have to hold everything and if you're finding a bunch of stuff, it might not, uh, you might not be able to take as much as you could. So have one person go straight to getting the cart and have the other person just beeline it all the way towards uh, the end where all the good stuff is and grab as much as you can with your hand or if you know you, you that one ticket item you're looking for go grab it you know by hand because you're going to be able to maneuver through the aisles a bit well there's no way we realized we were taking a cart into the small aisles where the back it's hard to explain but where the back wall was you can't fit carts down there so uh, you sort of get stuck in that area and if you are by yourself with a cart there's just no way you're getting through there so have have one person go straight to the goods, have one person get to the cart, and then kind of meet up in the middle. And then I'd say maybe just bring like an Ikea bag. So if you aren't able to get a cart, then at least you have like some form of bag that you can put your stuff in, like small stuff. So in conclusion, I think for me personally, um, I was a little disappointed first off by the first location. They didn't nearly have as much as the second location, and we even went to the second location hours later after they opened. So we realized that you didn't have to buy the membership to find good things because we still walked away as you saw with good quality stuff and that had been sitting there for hours before we even got to that second location but yeah you don't need to buy the membership if you just want to go check it out it's still open to the public but you just have to wait until all the people with the paid line passes get in and then you can roam freely and then I probably would also like to try going again on a day where everything's a lot cheaper because there were some like small little knickknack stuff that definitely would have been worth it but they weren't worth the six dollars like if I were to go on the 25 cent day or the dollar day or whatever um, then you know you can find like really cool things for 25 cents or a dollar that normally are like five six seven eight bucks um, but I'm not gonna pay for them at the six dollar price so I hope I kind of explained all of that clearly. It was kind of a lot of information and it is a little bit confusing, but it's really just trial and error. You got to do it, figure it out yourself. But I hope that maybe this kind of helped a little bit. So if you guys do have any questions about falling prices, how it works or whatever, um, anything that I missed, let me know in the comments below. If you guys are enjoying content like this, consider subscribing. Ew, I don't know if the camera just picked that up, but he fucking farted. He just walked away and he tooted. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe because it's free and clearly I love free shit. So I'm gonna see y'all on the next video. Deuces. <laughs>